Jamaica. Ay, 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 ay. Good morning, bonjour, I'm Akora, здравствуйте. My name is Irina Zlotnikova and I'm greeting you from Rwanda, the country of thousand hills, the country where spring never ends. Institutions of higher learning in countries of sub-Saharan Africa experience numerous challenges, including high level of unemployment of recent graduates. To enable graduates with knowledge and skills required at the global job market, African universities try to adjust their curricula to the international standards. Developing the information and communications technology ICT curricula, African universities follow the recommendations of reputable organizations such as ACM, Association of Computer Machinery, and IEEE. Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers. While based upon best international standards, the ICT curricula in universities of Sub-Saharan Africa sometimes sound quite unrealistic due to lack of technical and human capacity. One of the methods ensuring the quality of education as well as quality of university curriculum is open distance and e-learning or DEL. In Sub-Saharan Africa, most countries of which are among the world poorest, there are significant efforts to implement ADEL programs. Overview. Here we give some examples of ADEL projects contributing to globalization of university curricula in African countries. This means that either these projects use curricula and teaching materials developed outside the country or share curricula developed materials and resources with other African countries. Odell projects in Mozambique to improve quality of education in Catholic University of Mozambique, UCM, students are offered MIT Massachusetts Institute of Technology or open course materials. MIT courses are posted at the local server and accessible via internet. Some MIT courses have been translated into Portuguese, others are delivered as is in English, since instructional languages in UCM are both Portuguese and English. Other institutions of higher learning are known as using course materials developed in Portugal. Odell projects in Uganda. The Faculty of Computing and IT of Makerere University is involved in the Pan-African in-network project on tele-education. The 53 African countries are connected as one network through satellite, fiber optics and wireless links, providing electronic and knowledge connectivity to the African nations. Makerere University was selected by the African Union to be the ICT Center of Excellence for East African region and is mandated to oversee ICT African Union initiatives in 13 countries on tele-education projects. The project is funded by the Indian Government and African Union. Now Ugandan students can study distantly in Indian universities. Odell projects in Rwanda, Kigali Institute of Education hosts a program for training underqualified secondary school teachers. Other institutions known as conducting Odell projects are Kigali Health Institute and Rwandan branch of Tulane University, the U.S. In Kigali Institute of Science and Technology, after African Virtual University stopped its project, the development of e-learning has slowed down. Recently, the e-learning system based upon Moodle has been launched, but its usage by teachers and students is still meager. It should be mentioned also that currently KIST is launching a number of master's programs, including those in ICT computer science. Since currently KIST doesn't have a human capacity to deliver graduate programs, the number of PhD holders is not enough, there is a plan to employ visiting professors from other countries. Since visiting professors are supposed to come for just one week per module, most of teaching and learning will be inevitably done in the distant mode. 
for example, Master of Science in Information Systems, MIS, which curriculum has been developed based upon ACM guidelines, will be partly delivered by lecturers from Makere University, Kampala, Uganda, in the blended mode. As it was shown before, Odell projects provide a way to globalization of the curricula, thus improving the quality of education in African universities, which experience the lack of resources, especially human ones. But the goal of improving in quality of education can be achieved if only the Adele project is successful. We identify factors contributing to the success of Adele projects in countries of Sub-Saharan Africa and develop the Adele model. Results and Adele model. Both components of the model of a successful Odell project and the influencing parameters are presented in Table 1. Next slide. The components distinguished in the model have been organized in four groups according to the Dutch model for unbalance. The influencing parameters have been also divided in current groups. At this slide, you can see Table 1 presenting at the right components of the model, at the left parameters influencing components of the model. Links between them will be given later in this presentation. Table 1 continued. And the rest of Table 1 presents only components. The identified links between these components and parameters are presented in Table 2. Each identified direct link is denoted by one in this table. In direct links, when one component influences another component are not considered, they will be described in the extended version of this presentation. Table 2 shows a relation scheme between components of the model and influencing them parameters presented earlier in Table 1. Table 2 continued. Results Balance Scorecard. Based upon the Adele model, the office proposed a balance scorecard for evaluating Odell projects. The metrics comprising the balance scorecard do not necessarily repeat components of the Adele model. The identified metrics have been assigned weights according to their importance. The balance scorecard was validated using the data about known successful and unsuccessful Adele projects undertaken in public and private universities of Mozambique, Uganda and Rwanda. Conclusion. Adele provides a way to globalization of the university curricula in African countries through either using curricula and teaching materials developed outside the country or sharing curricula developed materials and resources with other African countries. The success of the Adele project can be measured using the balanced scorecard based upon the Adele model proposed by the author. Thank you for your attention. Merci pour votre attention. Murakozi. Спасибо за внимание. If you want to know more about Adele projects in Africa or the proposed model, write me in Skype or by email. Hey, hey. Ma
Africa. Ay, 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 ay. 